Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and today I am super excited for this video. I'm going to be talking about some alien romance books that are on Kindle Unlimited that are also on my TBR. Again, we're going to ignore the sty. Hopefully my glasses glare just covers up how swollen this eye is. <laughs> but I really wanted to film this video so you're going to have to bear with me with this this eye that is like completely cursed anyway i have been in the total alien romance moon what's new i love alien romances and i will take any opportunity whatsoever to talk about them so i thought it would be a fun idea to just tell y'all the books that are on my tbr i have a running shelf on my amazon that has over 100 books in it filled with pin unlimited alien romances i just find on amazon and i just add them to a shelf without even reading the summary because that's just me um so today i picked out 27 alien romances that are on that list that are probably on my top priority some of these i haven't even read the summary for they just come from a favorite author of mine or the cover looks good the title looks good <laughs> so um come learn about these alien romances with me. Okay, so the first one, I know nothing about this book, but I love this author, okay? This is Desire in His Blood by Zoe Draven. I love the Horde Kings of Drakkar, Drakkar <laughs> series by Zoe Draven, and everyone has been loving Desire in His Blood. So our heroine in here has to save her family. I think like her father's going into debt or something, and she agrees to marry a wealthy and mysterious stranger who offers her a wicked bargain she cannot refuse. The catch to the marriage, though, is that her husband-to-be is a Kylor, which is one of the most fearsome alien races. The Kylor are beastly monsters, all muscle and menace, with powerful wings, depraved cravings, and berserker-like rages. And they survive on blood. Okay, Desire and His Blood makes sense now, the title. Azur? Azur <laughs> is the hero's name. He expects a demure submissive wife, so he'll be in for a rude awakening when he realizes that our heroine here is going to be his wife. All my friends that I've read this book have loved it. I have not seen a bad review about this book. I love Zoe Draven. I just want to read more of her books, so this one is probably on my top priority out of like all of the books on this list because I'm just so excited. A lot of these books I find simply because I'm like scrolling on Amazon <laughs> and for literally alien romances. So one that I came across is Beauty and the Alien Beast. Like look at that cover y'all. Oh I just realized though this one is not on KU. Darn but you know what it's on my list anyway. Darn it's not on KU. It's okay. I think it's uh, $3.99 if you want to purchase it. I have not purchased it but it's on my my list okay i'm still gonna read the summary because it still looks good so it looks like ella is stolen from earth by alien overlords but then she's rescued by a huge alpha alien warrior oh my goodness okay there's a language barrier trope one of my favorite things ever <gasps> there's a language barrier between the two of them so she doesn't really know where she stands with the guy who saved her his name is taken to ken to ken <laughs> and he is a sh an alien shifter from the gladiator wolf and race excuse ollie he's got an itch <laughs> Oh my gosh, and so apparently when he rescued her, he realizes Ella is his fated mate. With the language barrier and the overlords chasing them across the planet, the pair must survive not only their enemies, but also the sizzling attraction between them. Oh my gosh, you wouldn't think that this is like a Beauty and the Beast retelling based off that summary, but since he's a shifter, maybe he shifts into like a beast or something? I don't know what this cover got me. He's got four hands. Okay. Four hands to do amazing things with, okay? Okay, one author. Oh, she's not on KU either. What is it? I thought that all these books were on KU, but there are three books that are on my TBR um, by Tasha Black, oh well. Ugh, I marketed this video as a KU video. Okay, there are a few exceptions, I guess. I don't normally also purchase ebooks. I very rarely purchase ebooks, so. These are for when I get, um, whenever you order packages on Amazon, you can like delay the package a few days and get like some digital credits. And so whenever I get digital credits like that, that's when I let myself buy an ebook that's not on KU. So this will be for that point, I guess. Um, but these three were really on my radar simply because of the concept and the covers. First one is Cadence, which is like an alien single mom romance. 
sucker for that. I see a baby, like a child on the cover. I love single parent romances. So that one's on my TBR. So is Piper, which is the first book in the Alien Surrogate Agency series. Give me Alien Surrogate, give it to me now. I love that trope so much in Alien Romances. So on my TBR, obviously. And then also I have Knox, which is the first book in the Alien Adoption Agency. Give me single dad alien romance. Like, yes. I, we very rarely get single dad romances with aliens. Give it to me now, please. Tasha Black is definitely on my TBR. Excuse the fact that those past four books I mentioned are not on KU. I believe all the rest are. And if they're not, I'll tell you. Let me know what you think of those books and if my money would be well spent because they're not on. KU. Anyway, let's get back into the KU reads. <laughs> Next one is The Naked Alien by Honey Phillips. I've read quite a few Honey Phillips now and I really want to get into her other series because I've read all books from one series. So I need to dip my toe into other Honey Phillips series. So this is the first book in her Exposed to the Elements series. Okay, so Jane, who is not very outdoorsy, she's not an outdoors person, is in for a shock when she wakes up alone without any clothes on in what appears to be an alien jungle. And her only goal is to obviously find her way back home. But then a massive stranger comes to her rescue. Her savior is a is big growly and doesn't speak her language. Yes, language barrier trope. Give it to me now. <laughs> the hero near his name's uh, Traxon. Traxon. Uh, he's an alien commander. And so he wakes up also without any clothes on a weaponless on an unknown planet. And he's more annoyed than alarmed. Like he knows that he'll probably be able to survive on this planet. So when he searches for civilization, he comes across this strange female blundering around the jungle. Oblivious to the hazards surrounding her, she is clumsy, helpless, and completely adorable. Come on. As an honorable warrior, he has no choice but to protect her, but he doesn't expect the task to be so rewarding. And so it's about the two of them surviving in the jungle together. I love survival romances. This book is just being moved to the top of my TBR, y'all. Another Honey Phillips is one in a very long series by her. This is her um, alien abduction series. And I think each book in the series is surrounded by like a letter. So the first book in the series is Anna and the alien. And then the second one is B, like it goes by B, C, D, like e, it goes in alphabetical order. So I think that was interesting. I think Honey Phillips is like becoming one of my new favorite alien romance authors. And I think she's just so cool in the way that she writes some alien romances. So Anna and the Alien is the first book again in the Alien Abduction series. So this is about Anna, obviously, and she really wanted a relaxing vacation. Instead, she finds herself enslaved aboard an alien spacecraft and forced to help an injured prisoner who is a huge golden skinned warrior. And if he dies, so does she apparently. The spaceship then crashes on a planet and she must trust in him in order to survive. So I think it's another survival romance. So Jakar is a Sir Dorian mercenary searching desperately for a new planet to replace his dying home world. He never expected to be injured, captured, and then shipwrecked. Forbidden to mate outside his species, he can't help but be tempted by Anna's curvy body and her caring heart. Now he's responsible for the small group of survivors and the luscious little human he's determined to claim as his own. Can a girl and her alien find happiness on a deserted planet at the far end of the galaxy? No words. I am just loving Honey Phillips and all the summaries. Yes. Okay. Next one is Found by the Barbarian. Whenever I see Barbarian in the title, you know me. I'm going to take it. Okay. Ice Planet Barbarians. Are you kidding me? So our heroine in here turns out she has been abducted from Earth and she has been a slave for quite a long time. And um, she gets then resold to kind of like an auction alien planet. But then her and like three other women, I think that were like bought with her end up like escaping and steal a ship. And then luck runs out when they crash land on an emerald moon serving as a remote prison. And then when she's found by one of the inmates, not all is as it seems. Beneath the lush tropical beauty of the moon, something much more sinister awaits. Give me any alien barbarian give it to me. The cover for this one immediately intrigued me. Okay, this is Twins for the Alien Warrior by Athena Storm. It's a part of the Alien Warrior Dad series. There's only one book in the series so far. Give me alien dads. Like, yes. <laughs> this one says, no alien prince is gonna throw me on his shoulder and carry me away. I don't care that he's technically rescuing me. Saving my life multiple times doesn't mean he can eye me up and down and lick his lips. He can say we're fated mates all he wants. I won't give up everything just to be his pretty little housewife. But then why is the only thing I can think of 
how much I crave him, how badly I need him, and how much I want us to be a family. I used to be independent, now I'm all his. It's enough to make me sick to my stomach every morning. It's either that, or it's the two little twins growing inside me. Sold, 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 sold. <laughs> this cover also just, by the way, iconic. I was totally sucked in because of the cover. <laughs> Next I have a Tiffany Roberts. I love Tiffany Roberts. So this one is to tame a dragon. This is like an alien dragon creature, which is so cool. I'm a sucker for those too. This is a part of the coll a collaborative series that are all standalones. It can be read in any order and it has other books by Naomi Lucas, Poppy Reese, and Amanda Milo, which are some of my favorite alien romance authors. So I need to go check out those other ones too, it looks like. Claiming a dragon is not as easy as a single touch, but claiming his heart is another matter entirely. So it looks like at the beginning of this book, humanity is doomed because there are fewer, fewer birthed males. Ooh, that's interesting because it's normally like flipped in alien romances where normally it's like females are dying out instead of males. There's a red star that appears in the sky on the night she is to be chosen as I think a wife. She doesn't want to be a wife. Um, the heroine Aaliyah. She then ventures out beneath the blood moon to prove the old legends true, to claim a dragon as her mate. But even if she can forge the legendary bond with her dragon, can she win the most important prize of all? Can she conquer the dragon's heart? I love Tiffany Roberts. So that, that summer was a little confusing to me, but you know what? I don't care because I love Tiffany Roberts. And I just love this cover too. I'm gonna love like all these covers. <laughs> Uh, next, I have heard really good things about Alien Tyrant by Ursa Dax. I've heard really good things about Ursa Dax. This is the first book in the Fated Mates of the Sea Land Warriors series. There's 13 books in this series. Whoa. This one is about Cece and Brody. Brody? I don't know how to pronounce that. <laughs> so Cece ends up getting shipped off to an alien planet ruled by barbarian warlords with tails. Yes, barbarians. Give it to me. Her government ends up kidnapping her along with a bunch of other women and drops them on a brutal desert planet in the name of research. But the mission goes wrong, but she then gets separated from the other human women and gets stuck with a seven foot tall alien warlord who will not leave her side. He doesn't speak English, but his dark eyes and massive body speak volumes. Here on here knows immediately that she sees his mate. She is small and pale and fights him every chance that she gets, but everything in him calls to everything in her and she represents the salvation of his tribe. She is his and he will destroy anyone who tries to take her from him. But what if the one who tries to take her from him is her. I've heard really good things about this one. You're just gonna hear me like just gushing about alien romances, okay? Like I am so excited for like every single one of these books. Next is Heat for Hire by VK Ludwig. I've read a few VK Ludwigs. I want to get more into their backlist. This is the first book in the Alphas of Nasilla, Nasilla series. This one's about Eli and Ren. I think this is like a um, Omegaverse book. Um, Eli in here is a heroine who's an Omega and Ren in here is like helping her in some way. I don't really know this. Um, the summary is kind of like vague. It says that this is the first book in the series bringing you a nest full of sweet with all the heat. It features a big devoted and caring alien with not so human anatomy. <laughs> Next, oh, the cover took me away with this one. Okay, this says Across the Stars by Jade Waltz. I've seen a few of their books on Amazon. I have not picked up any of them. This is apparently the first book in a trilogy and it looks like they're alien dragon riders and faded baits. So May's mission was to find a potential location for the next human colony. However, she finds something more. After landing on a newly discovered moon, she finds what she figured existed only in myths and legends, alien dragon riders who live in enormous trees. When one of the warriors, Watai, attempts to teach her about his world, he declares that she is his cosmic mate and that they share the same cosmic thread, a faded cord which has destined them to be together. The more she learns about his home, the more she wants to protect him and his world from the very government that she works for. Now she is faced with a difficult choice to stay and embrace her connection with Watai or to resist its pull, sever the thread of fate and flee to protect everything she's ever grown to love. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And so I assume since it's a trilogy, the other books in the series are about that couple too. There's only book two out right now. Um, there's not a third one out, but I think every book in the series is about the same couple, so. Next I have Alien Rogue by Chloe Parker. Look at this like clinch cover. Are you joking? So it looks like this one is about a heroine who gets kidnapped by the hero named Zandro, who is an alien warlord and is living on his spaceship with him. And she has to like 
she wants to convince him to help the human race that's like dying out or something. If he helps her save Earth, she will be his queen. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Dawn Among the Stars is the next one. So the tagline for this one says, three humans, an intergalactic conspiracy and a battle to save Earth. So this is about three separate people. You have the reluctant ambassador who is Kayin. You have the misguided good doer, which is Henry. And you have the stubborn survivor named Melissa. Can these humans trust their new allies or will they lose the only home they've ever known? So I think this is kind of unique in the fact that like, it's not just about one couple. It's like a huge like series. It's giving me like Black Dagger Brotherhood vibes where like you don't just get the point of view of one couple. I'm very interested in that. Next is Dark Planet Warriors by Anna Carvin. This one's about Abby and Tarek. Apparently Abby and here, a human woman, has been bumping into this alien named Tarek, which is a part, who's a part of the, um, Codorlian series <laughs> that are huge uh, silver skinned aliens with like pointed ears. She keeps bumping into him like all the time. I think they both do like space missions, but they don't like work together, but they keep bumping into each other. But then his um, spaceship, I think gets like stuck on a human mining station um, where she is. And so he's trying to like leave the planet, but then he's very intrigued by Abby, obviously. Next I have Caveman Aliens Ransom by Callista Sky. I've been trying to find more caveman-esque romances ever since I read Fall, because yes. Um, so this is one of the only ones that popped up. So our heroine in here ends up getting abducted by aliens and her and a bunch of other girls are basically beamed onto a Jurassic planet where giant murderous dinosaurs walk around and want to kill them. Her only hope of surviving is the first man she met there. His name is Jax Ran and he's an alien and a caveman as in the hottest super alpha caveman who's ever lived. Okay, this seems so funny. There's only one problem. He's holding me for ransom and he wants to repopulate his womanless planet in it with me oh my gosh <laughs> this sounds like a recipe for a hilarious time and this has like 17 books and a caveman alien series like if i love this one i'm going to be marathoning all the other books okay next type hunted by the alien assassin by ella maven alien assassin is another like pick me word for me like i love that Ooh, okay so it looks like our hero near bossa is tasked to kill our heroine Karina, but for the first time ever, he cannot kill his target. So it looks like Boss has been hired to kill Karina because people think that she's like a human alien trafficker. Like she sells human women to um, aliens, like a human trafficker. But when he like gets to know Karina, like I think it's like undercover gets to know her before he like kills her, he realizes her true secret and what she's actually doing, which I presume is not human trafficking, obviously. And so then he ends up like sticking to her side and claiming her as his mate. So there would obviously be like a trigger warning in here for like human trafficking. Um, but I assume there's more to that because I don't really want to read about a human trafficker falling in love. Next I have The Mellier by Poppy Reese. I haven't read a Poppy Reese book, um, but I think this might be a good place to start. This is the first book in the Women of Dornai series. So Lucia hijacks a stolen cargo ship only to find out she's not alone. A giant beastly alien slave with no memory of his past is now her newest acquisition and she has no idea what to do with him. They're stuck together for the foreseeable future on their journey back to her home planet. But then Lucia struggles with the decision to keep him close or risk letting him fall back into enemy hands. Outrunning the pirates in pursuit and her own desires is shaping up to be an impossible task. <laughs> oh, give me alien pirates any day. Yes. Ooh, next I have Mated to the Alien Hunter by Athena Storm. I think the twin romance was by Athena Storm, so... Hmm. <laughs> this one's about Arwen and she's a human woman. She's human, curvy, and compassionate. And I think she is the fated mate to our hero in here. I don't know his name because the summary is in his point of view in first person. The hero says our world is ruled by villainous monsters. They hunt both of our races, both human and drokan for sports. The, the only one who can save my people is me, but I need her to do it. No one thinks we can do it. No one believes in our love. Sadly, not even Arwen. I will have to convince her. And when we show our world that when we are together, no one and nothing can stand in our way. Ollie. <laughs> I'm gonna go let him out. But that one look, oh my gosh, that one looks good. <laughs> Give me a second. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> my dad came home 
So um, I was very excited to go see my dad. Anyway, the next one is Ice Planet Prison by Alexis B. Osborne. So I think this is about Kira who is put on an alien prison planet, obviously. Yalur is also a prisoner on the planet and I think they work together to escape. It says the planet might be cold, but Yalur's bed is warm enough for the both of them. Can she possibly survive the dangers and intrigue of the ice planet or will the tribal beasts of the frozen wastes break her? Ice planet is another, um, like, give me word, okay? <laughs> obviously, because of IPB. Next, I have Alien Warriors Captive Bride by Juno Wells. The title obviously sucked me in, Captive Bride, yes. But I'm gonna give Juno Wells another try, because I've tried a few of Juno Wells books and have not been my favorite, but I wanna give her another try. So this is about Hope, who has been forced to sign up for an intergalactic bride program. I love those. But then on her way there, her ship gets hit by some raiders. So La Roque ends up across the humans, because I think she's kidnapped with a few other uh, human women. I think he's saving her from the aliens who like kidnapped her, like the raiders. And it turns out they're like fated mates or something. I'm not sure, but I'm gonna try and give Juno Wells another try. And if I don't like this one, I think Juno Wells is just not for me. Next I have Love on Impact by Alana Khan. Ooh, okay. I was really excited about this one because you have an alien that crashes on earth in this one. Ooh, and it's another situation where like men are dying out instead of women. So Lumina is our heroine in here and it's been 90 years since the last man was born on earth. When the government allows three alien species to help us repopulate, she sets her sights on a alien male. It felt like winning the lottery when he literally fell from the sky. What should have been a dream turns into a nightmare when she's stranded in a remote cave with the galaxy's most pissed off male. Because of our language barrier, I don't understand why this intriguing male is so angry, but under the covers, our bodies speak eloquently. <gasps> language barrier, yes. Okay, so apparently the like top of the summary, I didn't mention this, but like the top says abducted by space pirates to breed human women, Zorus is one angry male when he hits his atmos the atmosphere. After breaking his bonds and stealing an escape pod, he crash lands in remote Idaho. <laughs> when Lumina rescues him, their bodies communicate beautifully, but with the translator troubles, could he grow to trust her? So it turns out he's not there willingly. And so that's why he's angry, obviously, but she doesn't know that. Next, I have Alien in Charge and Alien Bodyguard Romance by Lily Zander. First of all, Alien Bodyguard. Second of all, there's a cat on his freaking shoulder. Like, come on. Someone has attacked the Human Federation ambassador in Gehar territory and out of an abundance of caution, the Empress has assigned me to protect the human until the culprit has been caught. The new ambassador and her kitten Luna, short for lunatic, but then I meet the ambassador and everything changes because she isn't a stranger. She's my ex, Kiyomi Hearn, the woman that got away, the woman I want more than ever. But every time I try and be alone with her, her kitten is there watching me with a sinister sneer as I make my move, tripping me up, dive bombing me from the top of a cupboard and scratching my face. And then the situation goes from bad to worse. Someone's seriously trying to kill Kiyomi. Her work is sabotaged, her staff is poisoned and her speeder is blown up. This assignment just got very real. I am Jehan Dirara, shield of Gar. No matter what the wickedly adorable kitten may think, I'm in charge. Nothing is going to keep me from protecting the woman I love. Okay, the kitten? is like meddling, I love that. Next I have Stolen by Starlight by Sarah Ivy Hill. So this is about Lothan. And so he ends up finding who his fated mate is. And when he sends her, he steals her. Her name is Ada. Every chance she gets, she runs back to her captors. And so he's wondering why she's running away from him. Like if they're fated mates. And Ada claims that the alien warrior who stole me from the auction block is no simple thief. He's a king and he swears that I'm his fated mate. He wants me beside him on the throne and underneath him in bed. But all I want is to find my little sister. She's still out there somewhere at the mercy of our abductors. So the king and I strike a bargain. If he rescues her, I will be his queen. Another queen one. Okay, the cover for this one intrigued me. Okay, this is Smart Girls Don't Kiss Aliens by Alina Jacobs. This is apparently a hot rom-com with aliens. The heroine of this book ends up crash landing on an alien barbarian planet. And she's also a rocket scientist. She and her friends who were also abducted are going to work together to get off the planet. But then she ends up meeting Cassius. <laughs> and according to their ancestors, they are now fated mates 
and are destined to have a litter of children. This just sounds like a funny old time. I love rom-coms, especially if they're alien romances. So like, I'm sold. The last one for this video is Taken by the Alien Warrior by Hope Hart. So our human woman in here is like abducted from Earth with a bunch of other human women and the um, spaceship ends up crashing on this planet and she can't find any of the other human women. Um, then Terex ends up finding her, who's an alien on the planet, and she's trying to convince him to get back to like the spaceship and to find all the other human women. Um, but she's finding it very difficult to like communicate with him, I think. So that one looks super interesting. I think there's probably an alien, not alien, sorry, language barrier in this one. Anyways, there you have it. Those are the 27 books that are at the top of my alien romance TBR. Let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to and any of these authors like which ones are yeses and which ones are misses let me know please because I haven't read a few of these authors before and let me know also which one you think I should prioritize I would love to know and if you have any recommendations please leave them in the comment section down below and also let me know if you'd want to see another video like this because I have like hundreds of alien romances that are on my tbr and amazon like on my amazon wish list so like let me know or if this was boring let me know too <laughs> but i had a lot of fun just gushing about these alien romances that i'm very excited to read if you don't feel like commenting any of those things you can obviously leave me the alien emoji in the comment section down below but anyways thank y'all so so much for watching i will see y'all soon in my next one bye y'all